Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I have something kind of interesting for you. From the depths of my videos, from the archives from way back 365 years ago, I have a video that I made that I never released from the Turtle Survival Center. If you guys don't know, I did a two month internship there. Even repping the shirt, I mean that was not planned at all, but it, it's like that sometimes. Where I spent two months basically working with quite possibly the most endangered rare turtles in the the world. The Turtle Survival Alliance is one of the greatest organizations for turtle conservation that I know of. I was absolutely astounded to work with them and I love the opportunity in every minute that I had there. Today's video is going to be focused on one species of box turtle that they have there out of the many species of Asian box turtles that they have. Today's video is focused on Quora galbinifrons, the Indo-Chinese box turtle. At the center they don't really go by common names because common names are more fluid, therefore most most of the animals at the center are referred to by their scientific names. Of the many species they have, Platystern and Megacephalum, they have Quora Flavo Marginata, which is the Chinese box turtle, like little Otis that I have, if you guys have watched my videos before. Quora Pictorata, Quora Beretti. Yeah, I don't, what the heck? Look, that's not your home. She does this like every day now. So essentially today's video is gonna be a little blast from the past. I act a little bit different because I wasn't as confident in front of the camera. So today's video is just gonna be on my experience there and a little bit of information about probably one of my favorite box turtle species in the world. So after I come through here, this entire complex is called CC2. That stands for Quora Complex. And in each of these enclosures, all the way down, there's 15 per row, three rows, and two sort of sides to the complex. All down here is all the same species of turtle. Most of them are either hiding in their little pool pond or they're in the leaf litter. Here is one of the galbinifrons that just came out of his little pond. As you can see, they are absolutely gorgeous. You can see why they're one of my absolute favorite species of the Quora. And they always look like they have a little smiley face on them. See? They're always happy. So because they are a species of box turtle, these guys enjoy being in the water, but they also like staying on land, and they really like this sort of leaf litter that we give them. They are native to the northernmost region in Vietnam, as well as uh, mixing a little bit into China. And because they're box turtles, they really enjoy staying submerged in the waters. Here we have some concrete pools that we've incorporated into their enclosures. They have a standpipe for the water to overflow into and a constant drip of water of fresh water entering their enclosures. That way the water stays nice and clean all of the time and we can always flush it out if we need to. Also in every enclosure is a nice pile of leaf litter. The females like to walk into the leaf litter and plop out one or two eggs uh, every once in a while whenever they're sort of gravid, whenever they're feeling like it. Here is one right now that's just hanging out in the leaf litter. And there are also a ton of floating plants. That is some type of salvinia or some type of duckweed and water fern. But basically these guys get a nice size little enclosure. Please excuse the noise, but we're right next to the greenhouse. Once we get eggs from those guys, we incubate them, ensure that the hatchlings are a nice size. Then right now we have a couple sort of in this little yard here. We will look for the uh, juvenile, the yearlings, and then there's one that's two years old of the galbinifron, so you can see what they look like when they're real itty bitty. Let's have a look. Anything in here? Oh, here we go. I'm pretty sure that this guy is actually two years old. I'm not 100% sure. But there he is blending in extremely well with the leaf litter, which is what we want them to do. We want them to replicate what they would do in the wild. That's why we have all of these magnolia leaves for them to hunker down in. Some nice fresh water and we feed them every three times a week. Now let me find the real little boogers. The ones that are absolutely stunning to me. That is a Pictorata. They are in the south of Vietnam. Also critically endangered, of course. Oh, there's the little boogers. Check this guy out. Is that not the cutest? cutest little face you have ever seen on a box turtle. Look at these little nuggets. Let's go ahead and take a look at this little fella. This is probably about a year old. This is a little tiny Galbinifrons hatchling, the Indo-Chinese box turtle. Let's go ahead and let this little guy go. We 
keep them in these enclosures until they are big enough to go into the adult enclosures. See that little bug that just fell right there? That would make a mean snack. So we'll see if he notices it. But these guys will eat all kinds of little bugs and little worms and things that they find in this enclosure supplemented with what we feed. And you can tell that they eat because of that right there, which is an exceedingly large turd for the size that these little boogers are. You can see how they're a nice bright orange made to blend in with their environment. When I first saw these guys, I thought that they were very, very strange looking leaves. I really had no idea until I looked closer and realized that they were little turtles. So as you guys can see, there's a shade cloth right above me and we use a couple different kinds of cloth in order to keep these little guys out of the direct harmful rays of the sun because they can bake really quickly and overheat very easily. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's definitely not what you're used to, but I appreciate your guys' support. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit the little bell notification thingy and the subscribe button if you want to see more of what I'm doing. Head over to my Patreon to consider supporting me. You get a bunch of perks and fun stuff over there. Thank you to all my current patrons who are right here, displayed lovely in the little list. Also, head to turtlesurvival.org to go support the Turtle Survival Alliance. Order their shirts, get their merch. I've had this shirt a year and look, the, the logo still looks great. This is, they got beautiful stuff. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Special thanks to the TSA for having me and letting me be their intern for two months. And I'll see you all in the next one.